tell us something about the observer effect the observer uh, observer effect of quantum mechanics uh the I don't know if you guys remember, but there used to be in the 1990s a song called Shy Guy, Shy Guy by a lady called Diana King. Very famous song in the 1990s. I was a kid back then. I don't think anyone remembers that today. It's kind of an obscure classic song. But that song is kind of appropriate for the observer effect. Imagine that you have a friend. Imagine you have a friend who is really shy. And this friend of yours behaves differently when he or she knows that someone's watching them. So the observer effect is kind of like that, but it happens in the quantum world. So the observer effect de describes how the act of observing something or measuring something can change what is being observed. So for example, let's say that you are trying to check the air pressure in your bike tire. You have a bike and you want to check if the pressure is what the pressure is. So you have to take a pressure gauge, you have to insert it, you have to press it into the valve in, in the in the bike tire and when you do that to check the pressure a tiny bit of air escapes from the tire when you insert that right so this means that the very act of measuring the pressure of the bike tire slightly changes the pressure in the tire this is this is an example of the observer effect in the real world that we inhabit, in the classical world, in the everyday world that we inhabit. The tools and the methods that we use to observe or measure something can, can inadvertently end up changing, affecting and changing what we are trying to measure, what we are trying to observe, what we are trying to study. Imagine you have a glass of water. You have a glass of water, okay? And you want to measure the temperature of this glass of water. So what are you going to do? You're going to take a thermometer. You're going to insert it into the water. Now, I can guarantee you that your thermometer is going to be at a different temperature than the water. Slightly cooler, slightly warmer, whatever. It's, it, there's no way it will be exactly at the same temperature as the water. So when you put the thermometer in the water, it will slightly change the water's temperature. Okay? So once again, just by trying to observe or measure something, you end, you end up changing the system or changing the thing that you're trying to observe. Now, when it comes to quantum mechanics, the, the ultra-microscopic, the hyper-microscopic world, this effect becomes even more noticeable and important. Let's say you, you've got a super tiny particle. Let's say you have an electron, a single electron. And you want to know where it is and how fast it is moving. That's all you want to know. You know there's an electron in a box, let's say. And you want to know exactly where it is and how fast it is moving. So how do you do that? Well, you're going to try and see it, right? You're going to try and bounce light off it. But in the ultra-microscopic quantum world, light comes in the form of photons. There are these little packets or you can say particles of light, massless particles of light that have momentum and energy. So you're going to take this, these photons and you're going to try and bounce them off the electron. But the electron is so small that the very act of a photon bouncing off it is going to change its position. It's going to knock it off its, off, its, uh, off its position. It will change its velocity, change, change its trajectory. The electron may even end up absorbing this photon. So just by trying to observe or measure observe the electron or measure its properties, you end up changing what the electron is doing and the, changing the very uh, nature of the electron. So this is like trying to see what your shy friend is doing. But as soon as you peek at your shy, shy friend, they start acting differently. Okay? So in other, in other words, the very act of measuring or observing something in the quantum world actually changes the thing that you're trying to observe or measure. And that makes it really hard to know exactly what's going on because the very act of observation changes what you're observing and it can mess mess up your mess things up. So that essentially is the observer effect. Hopefully it makes a little bit of sense the way I have <laughs> explained it.